After the beta for Battlefront, I was prepared to riot it off, but since I own EA Access, I thought I would dive into the 10 hour trial they have of the game, and with the small amount of content on offer, 10 hours was more than enough to give it a fair review in my opinion. The game has 9 game modes and 6 maps, which rubbed me the wrong way straight away. There's lots of games out there with single and multiplayer with more maps and game modes than this. This is the exact game the AAA games industry wants to create. Less content, more money, and it can eat several dicks. Out of the nine game modes, only three of them really play to the game's strengths. You see, Battlefront is at its best when you're in large-scale battles. These feel like Star Wars and give the game an identity of its own. The problem with the other six modes is that they try to be like every other modern shooter. These are small player modes using sections of the larger maps. The shooting doesn't feel responsive enough for these smaller, fast-paced modes. It's not bad by any means. The guns handle how I expected Star Wars weapons to handle but bullets move slower and there's an emphasis on leading your targets at long range, which doesn't work well in these small modes. This does work on the larger maps since you're fighting at a variety of ranges, and these massive battles in Supremacy and Walker Assault feel so immersive. The sense of scale is really impressive. Visual touches in the background give off the impression that you're in a larger battle than you actually are. I'm not saying these modes don't have problems though. Using air vehicles doesn't really have much sway on the battle below until right at the end of a walker assault game, and it's hard to provide air support on the ground since the maps have quite tight boundaries when you're in the air. Which leads me on to Fighter Squadron, the last large scale mode in the game. This is all in air vehicles, the goal is to take out AI and human opponents, and any troop transports that appear. It's a good idea, and reminded me of Rogue Squadron, but it's extremely hard to shake an enemy off once they've locked onto you. The evasive manoeuvres are largely useless, everyone has a very limited manoeuvrability all round and after a couple of rounds it loses its appeal. The sound and visuals back the immersion, the Star Wars sounds are perfectly preserved and all the explosions and laser hits all have a massive sense of impact. Even at 720p on the Xbox One the game looks incredible. Rich vegetation, great animations and good looking vehicles and character models. It's all this combined with the massive battles where it truly nails its ambition at being an authentic Star Wars game. As well as the problems with the shooting mechanics in the smaller modes, these modes also get very stale after one or two rounds, and it shows because you can never get a game. But in all the modes, I didn't have problems with spawning and getting shot from behind straight away. Thank Christ someone gets how spawn should work. The two hero modes on offer just show off the lack of hero balance. Ranged characters like Han and Leia are so much more powerful than the Jedi and Sith since you can pick off targets in one or two shots from range. Whereas with characters like Vader, you have to get in close and the time you're allowed to block Blastify for isn't enough, especially when everyone on the map is shooting at you. Saying that, the balance has improved massively since the beta. Hoff's map has now had its boundaries increased, so it's not as chaotic, but it still has problems. The default Empire gun feels very overpowered. It's got high damage, good range, good accuracy, and a decent rate of fire. I tried lots of blasters out but just ended up going back to this because of how good it was. The unlock system is pretty vast but they don't really spice up the gameplay enough to keep it fresh since you're just picking items that suit your playstyle. There is potential here for an amazing large scale multiplayer experience which will probably be filled with DLC. If the goal here was to create an authentic Star Wars game then they have nailed it but as a multiplayer game it falls very short due to its lack of content. Wait for a game of the year edition with all the DLC if you can.